Uh, you know, pretty much today, learning the assignments, get familiarized with his teammates, and uh, we like we like what we saw today. It was more of a controlled practice as we've been doing on Wednesdays. We'll see see a lot more tomorrow. He has a pretty long-standing relationship with Coach Cable. Were you able to kind of talk to him about him? Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's good to have uh, some background on him. Most importantly, is that he takes advantage of this opportunity, and we help him realize his potential. But uh, yeah, we. We have some good intelligence on them, and uh, most importantly, we're happy to have them, and we're eager to get get ready for the Bengals. Is it overly ambitious to think he could play on Sunday? Yeah, I think so, but we're we're, we're, we're going to keep an open mind. We're at that point in the season where um, you know we're, we're going to have to get somebody ready to play, so we're going to try to fast track them and get them out there as soon as possible. Did the uh, the mini buy, so to speak? I mean, look like you had a lot of people out there today. Did you guys and did you guys come out of that pretty good? Yeah, I think so. We were pretty strategic on Monday. We used that as a, a day to familiarize our team with the Bengals, and we also used Monday to fast track guys like Swearinger and Compton and Magnuson, some of the guys we just signed, and get our young players some reps. But uh, look, we're we are what we are. We we got some band aids, and we're using everything we got. Uh, I don't, I don't know how Joyner is. Uh, I think he's getting better. Um, I, I would say he's questionable at best right now for the game. Raiders PR, they put out a tweet yesterday. Uh, this rookie class, 13 touchdowns, second most in the Super Bowl era up to this point. How impressive has it been to you that they've continued to get better and better each week? And, you know, young guys playing big minutes and important snaps. It's a good thing we got those rookies. That's about all I'll say. I'm proud of them. I'm really pleased with uh, their work ethic and the way that they, they work at, and, and their pro approach to the game is, is special. But, um, you know, we got to finish. You know, we don't want to count statistics and who cares about that stuff right now. We got a lot of football left. Let's get Josh Morrow back. What did you miss with him out the last few weeks? Uh, you know, he's just a, uh, he's a really good run defender. He's a good teammate, plays hard. You, you know what you're getting. So, you know, you miss a reliable pro football player at a, a position where it's hard to find him. Do you uh, expect to have a representative at Kaepernick's workout? I don't know. I'm going to answer questions about the Bengals. Have you had to, you know, obviously the Bengals are having a really, uh, really tough season. Have you had to remind your guys that this is NFL and anyone can beat anyone and not to overlook them? No, we had a tough season. We, we've had We've had tough moments around here, so we're familiar with tough moments. We got a lot of respect for the Bengals. You ever heard of Evansville basketball team? They just went into Lexington and beat the number one team last night. So this is pro sports. This is this is National Football League. Um, I, don't, I don't really care about anybody's record. We got a lot to prove. We got to keep getting better and keep working hard, and hopefully we can find a way to win another game. You mentioned Evansville. You talked uh, the other day about the uh, the Saints losing to the Falcons. Do you you know, use those things for your team and remind them? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's uh, there's plenty of examples out there. You know, you just got to remind some of the young people that um, you can't believe everything you read, believe everything you hear these days. Uh, if you don't respect Geno Atkins and Carlos Dunlap, if you don't think Will Jackson and Joe Mixon are great players, then you better get a, get a, get some film and look at it. You guys had the Finley at the Senior Bowl. Did you see how Yeah, we like Finley. We really like Finley. Uh, of course, I like all quarterbacks, as has been well documented. But uh, the guy's af more athletic than, than we thought. He's really accurate. He's got some leadership, and he's got prototype size. And he's a quick learner. So I'm sure he's going to be able to handle a lot of football that they give him. This is one of the lower profile additions of the offseason, but has Benson Mayo at all just exceeded the expectations you guys had to this point? Uh, well, he's got more sacks than a lot of the great sack artists out there. You know what I mean? I think he's got seven or eight sacks. If that's what we're measuring, um, you know, the great ones by, I'm really happy to have the guy. I mean, he's a he's a guy that not only can rush the passer, but he's a he's a Benny in the Jets, I call him. You know, he brings the Jets. He really energizes the room. Uh, he gives us a veteran that has been trained by the best. I think playing for Rod Marinelli in Dallas. Um, he brings a certain type of energy level to our defensive line that I really enjoy being around. And I'm happy for his success. Hopefully he can continue to get home.